Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. This is cranberry juice. I'd never really thought about how cranberries were grown until the other day I stumbled across a video called How Does It Grow? Cranberries. And that's the video we're studying today. I think it's really interesting to see how they're grown and the shots of the cranberries in the water are quite beautiful. In the video, the presenter says, contrary to popular belief, Cranberries don't grow underwater. Contrary means different or against. Contrary to popular belief is a phrase that you can use when you say something that's the opposite of what most people think. For example, contrary to popular belief, the woman who sued McDonald's after spilling her hot coffee actually had a legitimate case. In the cranberry video, the presenter explains how cranberries grow and she says, cranberries grow on low trailing vines in sunken beds called bogs. If a plant is trailing, it means it kind of grows along the ground rather than growing straight up like a tree. And a bog, as she says, is a sunken bed. My dictionary says a bog is an area of wet, soft ground formed of decaying plants. If you look at bog in Wikipedia, you can see that there are actually all kinds of different bogs, like a blanket bog and a valley bog. Bog is also slang for toilet. I'm pretty sure that's actually the first meaning I learned for the word bog. It's pretty common slang here in New Zealand. <laughs> Kia ora, in stick news today, Quicksilver Japan is selling wetsuits that look like actual suits. When surfers ride waves, they usually wear a rubber suit called a wetsuit. Office workers wear a different kind of suit. Last month, Quicksilver Japan announced they developed something that was suitable for the waves and the office. They're called true wetsuits. And according to Quicksilver, they're a solution for people with busy lifestyles who are struggling to find time to go surfing. The jacket, pants and tie are all made from neoprene and the shirts are made from a stretchy, quick-drying fabric. They're made to order and cost 324,000 yen. And that was Stick News for Thursday the 28th of May. Kia ora. Today's word is perennial. In today's video, when the presenter is explaining how cranberries grow, she says, the plants are perennial, meaning they survive year after year. And that's what perennial means. It means it lives for several years. Some plants die after one year. They're called annuals. These are some annual plants, peas, lettuce, watermelon, and these are perennial plants. Apples, kiwi fruit, persimmon. Why do people think cranberries grow underwater? Why is that? To keep them warm, really. Why do the bogs need to be flooded to harvest the berries? Well, according to the video, they are underwater sometimes. The bogs get flooded twice a year. In winter, they get flooded to keep the plants warm. Yeah, and then they flood the bogs again to harvest the berries. It's easier than picking them, I guess. It looks like they use a machine to knock the berries off and then they scoop them all up out of the water. Contrary to popular belief means A, the opposite of what most people think, be the same as what most people think, the opposite of what most people think.
A bog is an area of A. Dry hard ground B. Wet soft ground Wet soft ground Bog is also slang for A. Bathing suit B. Toilet Toilet Quicksilver Japan is making A. Suits that look like wetsuits B. Wetsuits that look like suits Wetsuits that look like suits Cranberry plants are A. Annuals B. Perennials Perennials And that was the Daily Englisher. Are you a fan of cranberry juice? How do you drink it? With ice or maybe in a cosmopolitan? Please go and check out the cranberry video and you can find the transcript for that video at thedailyenglishshow.com slash 1421. See you tomorrow. Cheers.